Hey, what's going on guys? Cisco here. Uh, what I want to do is take a quick little break from working on everything. I'm going to do a little toolbox tour of my, of my stuff and what I work with every day and kind of how my stuff is set up. So, this is my toolbox. Just your normal Harbor Freight 5 drawer. I got my floppy headed uh, ratchet wrenches I put on top of a magnet. I got my little stubby husky wrenches. I also got a set of regular ratchet wrenches. Down here, I got my lug nut sockets, oil pressure sensor, O2. But I got my lock wheel removers here. I got all my sockets. I got my deep sockets, half inch. I got my short sockets, half inch up here. I got my 3 8 deep I got my 3 8 short I got my quarter inch here I actually use quarter inch a lot it's I'm surprised on how much I use my quarter inch and then on this side I just kind of got random things let's see and this I got random things I got my extensions I got my standard sockets here that I rarely use long short I got my Torx bits here I got another set of quarter inch um, I got my whole set of Duralast 10 millimeter sockets because uh, we lose them all the time. I got me some Torx bits, Allen heads. This is all my random stuff that I use. Now on these, I have cobalt socket rails that I use on both sides. And then I kind of have this thing kind of floats around everywhere because I use it a lot. Also on this side, I got my long extensions down there, a breaker bars. I got my panel poppers here, and I got my two pry bars. Most of this stuff is just Harbor Freight stuff, nothing really big or anything like that. And on the side, I got all the stuff that I normally use to do batteries, brake jobs, anti seize, Loctite. Um, we have this brake quiet, I never use that. I don't even know why it's there. Got some assembly lube. Also got my right angle. 3 8 impact I got just my little impact gun there in this drawer I got all my pliers channel locks crescent wrenches uh, I got some snap ring pliers in here I got my long reach needle nose that I use a lot I got my hose clamp pliers I got from Harbor Freight my favorite tool And in this drawer, I pretty much got all my ratchets, my 3 8 half inch, uh, quarter inch, quarter inch swivel heads, uh, my cheap torque wrench I use. And this one's just kind of a random drawer. Uh, I got panel poppers, I got picks, uh, punches, files. Um, my hose picks some things actually these are supposed to be over here just throw those in there for now and in this one this is going to be all my wrenches that i use i got a whole set of husky metric and then i have a set of harbor freight long wrenches i use these a lot for alignments i got my line wrenches here and down in my big drawer I hold on let's see it holds all my other stuff I got gloves I got my Milwaukee grinder I got my Milwaukee light I got my big boy Milwaukee impact I got my Milwaukee drill uh, I got a box of just random stuff like Teflon tape uh, black tape electrical tape uh, just the random stuff in here got like a light tester and then under here I just got just random stuff but overall this is kind of my setup i use every day and i do like almost all types of jobs and i got my t-handles on the side that i mounted and then i got my my electrical outlet in the back this is where i plug my cameras in my chargers and everything when i'm doing my videos and then i kind of recently adopted this box so in my job i do a lot of oil changes too and I kind of set this up for doing breaks and 
tire rotations, oil changes, got me another ratchet C-clamp, my oil plug drain tool. I just keep my hammer there. You know, I got my stuff where I put all my extra bolts and everything in. But I mean, this is the gist of what I have. You know, I got a lot of magnet stuff, my lights, my speaker, cause we gotta have tunes. But overall, all my tools are just kind of random. Like I have a little bit of everything. I don't just not brand specific or anything like that. Uh, I got Husky, I got Harbor Freight, I got Duralast, I got stuff from O'Reilly's, I think Power Built. I mean, it doesn't really matter what brand of tools you have, as long as you can get the job done. The tools don't make the mechanic, the mechanic makes the tools.